Given the pace at which our world is experiencing species loss, it's difficult to predict which creatures will manage to endure in the coming decades. Sometime in the past, these 20 animals used to inhabit our planet, but today they have vanished. Join us to have a look at the 20 last known photos of animals that went extinct. Number 20. The Syrian Wild Creature a captivating creature once roamed in the heart of ancient lands, the Syrian wild ass. Imagine a horse-like being standing a mere meter tall yet radiating a wild elegance that tugged at hearts. This remarkable equine, known as the Himipi or Akdari, painted the deserts and grasslands of West Asia with its ever-changing hues. As seasons danced, its coat transformed from tawny olives to pale sandy yellows, an artistic play echoing nature's rhythm. But this creature wasn't easily tamed. The Syrian wild ass embodied strength and untamed spirit. Resembling a thoroughbred horse in its allure, it galloped through deserts, semi-deserts, and mountain steps. A grazer and browser, it dined on grass, leaves, shrubs, and tree branches, a testament to its adaptability. Yet life wasn't without challenges. This beauty faced predators like Asiatic lions, Arabian leopards, and Syrian brown bears among the ancient sands. Even in its noble strides, danger lurked. Assyrian art and tales from Xenophon of Athens transported us to a time when these wild creatures outpaced even the swiftest horses, their meat likened to tender venison. Sadly, the echoes of these legends dimmed. The 18th and 19th centuries brought a shadow as hunting took its toll. By World War I, their numbers dwindled and the final chapter neared. In 1927, a fateful shot rang out, marking the last stand of the Syrian wild ass. But nature's spirit cannot be silenced. From the ashes of extinction emerged hope. The Persian onager, a close cousin, stepped in as a beacon of revival. Rewilding efforts across Saudi Arabia, Jordan, and Israel brought back echoes of the Syrian wild ass, crafting a new saga amidst desert dunes and rocky peaks. Number 19, the Bubal Hartebeest. In the heart of Africa's golden grasslands once roamed a regal creature, the Bubal hartebeest, a proud subspecies of the hartebeest family. Imagine a creature with a sand-colored coat adorned only with a subtle patch of grayish hue above its nostrils and a black tuft at the tip of its tail. Standing at a stately 43 inches tall, it possessed U-shaped horns that crowned its noble head. This distinguished antelope was a true socialite, often spotted in groups of 100 to 200, gracing the rocky terrain of northern Morocco. Amidst its habitat choice, it preferred lush vegetation, setting itself apart from the sandy expanses of its neighbors. Yet despite its strength, it danced on the edge of danger. The Barbary lion, now a haunting memory, was once its fiercest adversary. In a twist of fate, the Bubal hartebeest met its tragic demise. It once thrived across North Africa, from Morocco to Egypt, leaving its hoofprints along the Mediterranean coast. The early 20th century saw its decline as colonial powers clashed and herds fell to military might. By 1925, its haunting calls echoed through empty landscapes. But the Bubal hartebeest lives on in history, etched in Egyptian hieroglyphs and gracing Roman mosaics of Algeria. Its legacy is a mystery, its significance debated by historians, and its very existence a question mark. It was a creature that walked alongside ancient civilizations, its presence forever marked in the annals of time. Number 18. Pinta Island Tortoise In the heart of the enchanting Galapagos archipelago, a remarkable creature once roamed the Pinta Island Tortoise. Fondly known as the Pinta Giant Tortoise, this awe-inspiring subspecies, a proud native of Ecuador's Pinta Island, had a history as captivating as the islands themselves. But times were tough for these majestic giants. In the late 19th century, the Pinta Island Tortoises faced a grave threat relentless hunting. The gunfire echoes silenced the peaceful landscapes that once echoed with their stately footsteps. By the mid-20th century, hope waned as the subspecies was declared extinct, with a lone male named Lonesome George as its last living testament. Yet, nature has a way of surprising us. 
Against all odds, a single male tortoise, Lonesome George, was discovered in 1971, a beacon of hope for his kind. Desperate attempts to find a suitable mate bore no fruits, and his passing in 2012 seemed to mark the final chapter of the Pinta Island tortoise. But hold on! Life's twists and turns took us by surprise. Reports from the Wolf Volcano on Isabella Island revealed the existence of first-generation hybrids, hinting at a hidden ray of hope. These juveniles hinted that the legacy of the Pinta Island tortoise might yet endure. This incredible journey isn't just about a single species, but the Galapagos ecosystem. These gentle giants once sculpted their island's destiny, dispersing seeds and shaping the environment. Their absence left a void, underscoring the delicate balance nature maintains. Efforts to restore this balance have been relentless. The tale of eradicating invasive goats and nurturing the land back to life paints a picture of dedication. Conservationists dream of reviving the essence of the Pinta Island tortoise through careful breeding to see once again they wander their native land. Number 17. Tarpon, Europe's Lost Wild Horse Imagine the windswept plains of ancient Europe, where the elegant yet rugged figure of the tarpon once roamed free. The term tarpon referred to those enigmatic horses that graced the Eurasian steppe from the 18th to the 20th century. Were they actual wild horses, domesticated runaways, or something in between? That's a question that still sparks debates among experts. A remarkable quest to recreate these majestic creatures took flight in the 1930s. By selective breeding, advocates aim to recapture the essence of tarpons, birthing breeds like the heck horse and the hegart. With their primitive charm and grullo coat color, these modern breeds were coined tarpons. But let's get one thing straight. They're not the real deal, just talented look-alikes. Tarpon has a mysterious ring derived from a Turkic word meaning wild horse. Tatars and Cossacks had their distinctions between truly wild and feral horses. The tarpon's taxonomic lineage is tangled too. Samuel Gottlieb Gemellen described the tarpon in 1771, and it's believed the domestic horse, Equus caballus, shares ancestry with this enigmatic creature. Were those horses we now call tarpons genuinely wild or a mix of Przewalski's horse and domestic counterparts? The jury's still out, as most studies have been limited. The International Commission on Zoological Nomenclature settled on Equus ferus for the feral horse in 2003. But let's not split hairs too much. Appearance-wise, Tarpon sported a striking grulo coat, a flowing mane, and unique markings like dorsal stripes. Their exact features remain a puzzle. Genetic, osteologic, and historic traces hint at bay and black coats. While some claims suggest that Tarpons had standing manes like their wild cousins, others argue for falling manes like domestic horses. The last Tarpon perished in captivity in 1900, closing the chapter on a remarkable species. Attempts to revive them stir romantic notions, yet we must appreciate the modern breeds that mirror their allure. Number 16. Schomburg's Deer Imagine a deer so elegant it could rival even the most regal creatures of the wild. Meet the Schomburg's Deer, an enchanting species that once called Central Thailand its home. Named after Sir Robert H. Schomburg, a distinguished British consul, this deer waltzed through the pages of history until it vanished, leaving a void in the lush landscapes it once graced. With a coat of rich dark brown and a dash of light underneath, this deer's elegance knew no bounds. The males sported antlers resembling baskets, adorned with as many as 33 points and reaching up to 35 inches in length. Females, on the other hand, danced without antlers. Their preferred dwelling was the swampy plains, where tall grasses, canes, and shrubs created a haven. Avoiding thickets, they wandered in small herds, a male, a few females, and their young. But alas, even this paradise couldn't shield them from the fate that awaited. As the world changed, so did the deer's fortune. The late 19th century brought rice cultivation for trade, swallowing the grasslands and swamps they depended on. And as time turned, the hunters came. Intensive pressure and shrinking territory pushed them to the brink until they vanished, leaving only stories and sorrow. Yet, nature is known for surprises. In 1991, a glimmer of hope emerged. A photograph captured a set of unique antlers in a distant land. Laurent Chazzy, a United Nations agronomist, recognized these antlers from a Chinese medicine shop. 
they were reminiscent of the long-lost Schomburg's deer. The image whispered of survival, a species refusing to fade into oblivion. Number 15. Caribbean Monk Seal The saga of the Caribbean Monk Seal, a remarkable marine creature whose existence has faded into obscurity. Journey back to when these seals, hailed as the Jamaican Seal and West Indies Seal, graced the turquoise waters of the Gulf of Mexico. While few recall their name today, their narrative unfolds as a poignant reminder of the fragile connections that shape our world. The Caribbean monk seal's tale remains shrouded in silence in a realm dominated by iconic extinctions like the passenger pigeon and the Tasmanian thylacine. Despite a sprawling range extending from the Caribbean's heart to the Gulf of Mexico's expanse, its presence was never acknowledged. Few realized that these islands held secrets, Seal Ks etched on ancient maps hinted at their existence. Imagine a world where each loss dismantles a distinct way of life, a unique tapestry of existence unraveling through time. This vanishing isn't confined to biology, it's a tale of narratives erased. Ursula Heise, a visionary in this realm, posits that extinction isn't solely scientific, but a matter of storytelling and values. Witness the unveiling of the Caribbean monk seal story, interwoven with the relics left behind, a museum's silent echoes. Museums, these reservoirs of memories, carry the last fragments of forgotten lives. This article delves into history, tracing Western scientific accounts from Columbus's sightings in 1492 to 20th century records. A paradox emerges. Despite these efforts to capture their essence, the species slipped into oblivion. Sketches, photographs, and texts that stand as testaments to a lost era. This undertaking illuminates the invisible ties binding these creatures to museums and society's consciousness. Museums transform into sanctuaries of memory, where tales of extinction unfold. Number 14. Bali's Lost Tigers Once upon a vibrant island nestled in the heart of Indonesia, a unique and enchanting creature roamed the lush forests the Bali tiger. Picture a tiger the size of a mountain lion, adorned with a striking dark yellowish-orange coat with fewer black stripes than its cousins. It embodied grace, its head marked by intricate bar-like patterns, and its underbelly clothed in pristine white fur, contrasting vividly with its fiery body. The Bali tiger was more than just a sight to behold. It was the guardian of its land. As the apex predator, it maintained a delicate balance among the island's inhabitants. Its diet, as diverse as its appearance, ranged from the Javan Rusa deer to the majestic Banteng and the agile monitor lizards. But destiny took an unfortunate twist. The Bali tiger's fate was sealed as Dutch settlers arrived with their guns and ambitions. The settlers decimated the forests, replaced them with plantations, and hunted down the tigers relentlessly. A sinister dance of bait and trap played out orchestrated by skilled hands that ended in close-range shots. Trapped on their paradise island with no escape from human predators, the Bali tigers faced extinction. In 1937, the haunting echo of a gunshot marked the end of an era. The last known Bali tiger, an adult female, fell victim to the cruel hands of history. Though rumors lingered, the truth remained. The Bali tiger was no more. Today, we cherish but remnants, preserved skins and skulls scattered across museums worldwide. Each tells a story of a unique subspecies lost to time. The British Museum holds the most extensive collection, a testament to the majesty that once stalked the forests of Bali. Though officially declared extinct in 2008, the Bali tiger's legacy is a reminder of the delicate dance between humanity and the natural world. Number 13. Golden Toad in the enchanting Monteverde cloud forest, once a thriving hub of diverse life, the resplendent Quetzal and Golden Toad found refuge amidst vibrant greenery. However, shadows loomed as squatters and hunters encroached. In response, the Monteverde Cloud Forest Reserve arose in 1973, safeguarding this realm for researchers and visitors, gradually expanding its protective embrace. Enter the Golden Toad, a rare resident with its radiant yellow hue illuminating the forest, seen fleetingly during its brief emergence for breeding. 
1987, an astonishing event occurred as around 1,500 toads converged for procreation, only to vanish by 1990 due to a 100% decline. The culprits remained elusive, with climate shifts disrupting breeding rhythms and the sinister Batrachochytrium fungus spreading chytridiomycosis, a silent amphibian killer. This catastrophe underscored the fragility of ecosystems and the vital role of reserves. While not impervious to threats like climate change and fungal infections, they provide a beacon of hope. Protection forms the bedrock, a lifeline for imperiled creatures. In adversity, resilience blooms. Though the golden toad remains lost three decades later, understanding has deepened. Chytridiomycosis's impact is more precise, and efforts to fortify ecosystems against climate adversity have multiplied. Expansion, like the 1993 Monteverde enlargements, kindles optimism. While salvation eludes, these actions signify a commitment to preserving Earth's wonders. Number 12. The Carolina Parrot Once upon a time, a striking and vibrant parrot known as the Carolina Parakeet danced through the skies in the lush lands of the United States. With its lush green feathers, a sunny yellow head, and an orange glow on its face, this little avian gem brought color and life to the eastern, midwest, and plains states. Among the native parrots, it stood alone in its beauty, with only a few distant relatives in its homeland. The story began centuries ago, when European explorers first stumbled upon these magnificent birds, noting their presence in the New World. These parrots held a special place in Native American culture, known as Puzzle or Pachi, among different tribes. As the years passed, these enchanting creatures faced a challenge. Their numbers dwindled and became a rarity by the mid-1800. The last wild sighting of these parakeets occurred in 1910, a sad farewell to a once thriving population. But the heart-wrenching end came when the last known specimen, a male named Incas, took his final breath in captivity at the Cincinnati Zoo in 1918. With his departure, the species slipped into the shadows of history, declared extinct in 1939. Throughout their existence, Carolina parakeets captured human hearts and curiosity. Their colors and calls painted the skies with wonder. Yet humans played a role in their decline, unintentionally, but fatally. Forests were felled, their homes disappearing. The birds were hunted for their radiant feathers and to protect crops, while diseases and human interventions further added to their woes. Number 11. The Japanese Sea Lion Once upon a time, a fascinating creature known as the Japanese Sea Lion frolicked in the waves in the vast oceans surrounding Japan and Korea. With its dark gray coat and distinctively different sizes for males and females, this aquatic mammal was a sight to behold. The males reached lengths of up to 8.2 feet and weighed over half a ton, while the females were smaller and lighter at around 5.9 feet and 260 pounds. These enchanting beings found solace on sandy beaches and even in caves, but their paradise soon turned into a tragedy. Human greed took over in the early 1900s, and the Japanese sea lions fell victim to commercial hunting. The beautiful oil extracted from their skin and organs for medicines proved too tempting for traders. Even circuses sought to capture these majestic creatures. As the decades passed, their numbers dwindled. By the 1970s, their joyful presence had faded from the oceans, marking their tragic extinction. The last confirmed sighting was a juvenile captured off the coast of Rabun Island in 1974. These sea lions left behind tales etched in local names like Sea Lion Island and Sea Lion Rock. Despite our longing, they are now just a memory, a reminder of human actions' impact on the delicate balance of nature. Number 10. The Western Black Rhino In the grand savannas of Africa, a majestic creature once roamed, the Western Black Rhino. Imagine a creature of strength and grace, measuring up to 12 feet long and adorned with two magnificent horns. These unique rhinos held a special place in the heart of sub-Saharan Africa, but their story is one of sorrow and struggle. Once upon a time, these rhinos lived freely across Cameroon with incredible horns that some believed held magical powers. However, their population dwindled due to poaching driven by misguided beliefs about the horn's value. Despite being nearsighted, 
they partnered with red-billed oxpeckers, relying on them to warn them of danger. The decline in their numbers was swift and brutal. By the 1980s, only a few hundred remained. Desperate efforts to protect them led to a brief resurgence, but the wheels of fate turned against them. By the early 2000s, a mere handful survived, their existence hanging by a thread. A heartbreaking announcement came from the International Union for Conservation of Nature, IUCN, in 2011. The western black rhino was no more officially declared extinct. A last sighting was reported in 2006, leaving us to mourn the loss of a genuinely remarkable subspecies. Efforts were made to turn the tide, with attempts to conserve rhino sperm and relocate individuals. However, corruption and challenges in adapting to captivity thwarted these efforts. Organizations like the Worldwide Fund for Nature WWF tirelessly worked to protect rhinos through innovative methods, like a rhino DNA database for forensic investigations. Number 9. Caspian Tiger Once upon a time in lands that stretched from eastern Turkey to western China, an extraordinary creature known as the Caspian Tiger prowled. These tigers, a population of Panthera tigris tigris, embodied the magnificence of their diverse habitats, from the Caspian Sea shores to the rugged mountains. Bold and elusive, their reign lasted until the 1970s, and they were revered as distinct subspecies until declared extinct in 2003. Imagine a tapestry of colors, fur that shifted from cinnamon to brown, adorned with elegant, narrower stripes. These tigers were often intermediaries in size between their Siberian and Bengal cousins. Their aura of grandeur extended to their sizes. Males 11.6 to 9.7 feet long, weighing up to 530 pounds, and females slightly smaller. These majestic cats danced through history, called by different names, Balkash tiger, Turanian tiger, and more. Yet the dance ended sadly, caused by human actions, deforestation, hunting, and habitat loss. Their territories, once vast, shrank like shadows as landscapes transformed. The last sightings faded away as if whispered by the wind. As we dream, let's remember the Caspian tiger, a symbol of wilderness, a creature whose story intertwines with our own, a reminder of the importance of preserving nature's precious tapestries. Number 8. Tasmanian Tiger the incredible tale of the thylacine, often called the Tasmanian tiger, echoes through time. With its distinctive stripes and wolf-like appearance, this fascinating creature was a unique marsupial carnivore native to Australia. Named for its resemblance to both tigers and wolves, the thylacine once roamed the wild lands of Tasmania and mainland Australia. Tragically, this enigmatic creature disappeared from the Australian mainland over 3,500 years ago, possibly due to the emergence of the dingo. By the 19th century, only a tiny population clung to life in Tasmania, but its future was overshadowed by conflict with farmers and relentless hunting. By the mid-20th century, the last known thylacine had passed away in captivity, sealing the fate of this extraordinary species. Despite its extinction, the Thylacine's memory endures. Its legacy can be seen in Tasmania's coat of arms and is commemorated annually on National Threatened Species Day. Scientists and enthusiasts worldwide strive to unravel the mysteries of this marsupial's biology and behavior, mapping its genome and exploring the possibility of resurrection through cloning. Number 7. South Africa's Lost Zebra Marvel a captivating creature once roamed in the heart of South Africa's wilderness, the quagga. This exceptional subspecies of the plains zebra, Equus quagga, painted the landscape with its unique beauty until the late 19th century when it tragically vanished due to rampant hunting. At first, believed to be its species, groundbreaking genetic research later classified it as a subspecies of the plains zebra, specifically the southernmost cline. Imagine a zebra with a fashionable twist. The quagga was renowned for its alluring appearance. Its sandy brown and white stripes adorned its front, resembling a stylish coat, while its hindquarters showcased a solid brown hue, lending it a touch of equine elegance. This enigmatic animal, measuring about 8 feet and 5 inches in length and standing 4 feet and 1 to 5 inches tall, often assembled in groups of 30 to 50, adding to the allure of the African plains. But as European settlers arrived, the quagga's destiny shifted. 
competing for food with domesticated animals, its numbers dwindled. Although a few quaggas journeyed to European zoos, breeding attempts proved futile. By 1878, it disappeared from the wild, and in 1883, the last captive quagga breathed its final breath. Number 6. The Baiji Dolphin's Tragic Tale The Baiji Dolphin, native to China's Yangtze River for 20 million years, suffered an abrupt demise due to human impact. In under 50 years, their numbers plummeted, and the last of their kind disappeared in 2007. Sporting a stocky frame, rounded flippers, a slender upturned beak, and tiny high-set eyes, their bluish-gray back and pale underbelly defined their appearance. These creatures formed small groups of two to six, known for their quiet, shy nature. Employing echolocation, they navigated the river's waters in search of prey, primarily freshwater fish. Yet human-induced noise and habitat destruction disrupted their world. The onslaught of ships and the Three Gorges Dam project amplified their struggles, sealing their fate. Maturity came at four years for males and six for females, with pregnancies spanning 10 to 11 months and yielding a single calf every few years. Their diet comprised diverse freshwater fish. The Baiji's disappearance carried the weight of an entire family, Lipotidae, unique in their anatomy. Their extinction, a reflection of humanity's influence, is a poignant reminder of the delicate balance between nature and progress. Now it's time for subscriber's pick. We received this picture of a hunter who hit the jackpot by hunting one-of-a-kind fish. Do you know the name of this species, though? Do you know of an animal that should be on this list that we did not mention? Let us know in the comments below. Number 5. The Javan Tiger once upon the vibrant Indonesian island of Java prowled a majestic creature, the Javan tiger. This magnificent subspecies of Panthera tigris spondaic ruled the dense forests until the mid-1970s when tragedy struck. Hunted relentlessly and robbed of its habitat for farms and buildings, the Javan tiger's existence was cruelly wiped out. Once thought to be a distinct subspecies, its status evolved. Researchers redefined its place in the big cat family in 2017, linking it with the Sumatran and Bali tigers under the banner of Panthera tigris spondaic. Scientists discovered the tiger's origins, tracing its journey to the Sunda Islands over 100,000 years ago. With its sleek body adorned in thin, numerous stripes, the Javan tiger was smaller than its mainland relatives, yet more prominent than the Bali tiger. It commanded respect with its power, capable of shattering the legs of formidable prey. Roaming freely across Java, it retreated to the shadows as human expansion stole its territory. By 1976, the Meru Batiri region held the last echoes of its presence. The Javan tiger's diet, varied and impressive, included Javan rusa, banteng, and wild boar. A series of tragic events marked the demise of this regal species. As forests shrank and food dwindled, Tigers and their prey were poisoned. Rampant deforestation further fractured their homes, and disease claimed vital prey species. Political unrest and armed conflicts were the final blows that extinguished this once proud lineage. Number 4. Pouli Tragic Tale Meet the Pouli, a charming bird with a black mask and a tail. This little creature, native to Hawaii's Maui Island, was a unique member of its feathered family, Hawaiian honeycreepers. With a black head, brown back, and pale gray belly, it painted a picture of nature's beauty. Sadly, the Po'o Uli faced a harsh fate. It lived on Maui's damp eastern side, where its numbers started to dwindle. Worried about its survival, humans stepped in to save the day. They tried to capture the birds and help them multiply in a safe place. But, despite their best efforts, by 2004, only two of these birds were left, and they vanished soon after. Experts took a hard look in 2018 and concluded that the Po'o Uli had vanished forever. No one had seen or heard from them since 2004. The once cheerful bird was declared extinct in 2019, leaving behind memories and lessons. The Po'o Uli was more than feathers and colors. It symbolized nature's fragility. Remember its story and work together to protect the wonders that still grace our world. Number 3. Butterfly from Madeira this is the captivating tale of the Madeiran Large White, a unique subspecies of butterflies found only on the enchanting island of Madeira. 
This delicate creature, known scientifically as Pieris brassicae wollastoni, was first described by the skilled English entomologist Arthur Gardner Butler in 1886, adding to the island's natural charm. With wings as pure as snow, adorned by bold ebony tips on their fronts, these butterflies command attention with their elegant appearance. Measuring between 55 and 65 millimeters, they are a graceful sight. Their favored dwelling is the lush laurel forest, creating a picturesque connection between their beauty and nature's bounty. The young larvae of this splendid butterfly boast vibrant yellow stripes atop their verdant bodies, accentuated by intriguing black lumps. Their menu includes vibrant nasturtium and humble cabbage plants. Yet a shadow looms over this species. Despite meticulous efforts during a 15-year survey in the 1980s and 1990s, the Madeiran large white has remained elusive since its last sighting in 1977. Could it be teetering on the brink of extinction? A mysterious virus unleashed by the invading small white butterfly, Pieris rapi, might have disrupted the balance, taking advantage of a vulnerability in the Madeiran species. The parasitic wasp, Cotesia glomerata, could have further contributed to this decline. This wasp preys on the Pieridae species, a category that includes our precious butterfly. These factors intertwine in a puzzle of ecological dynamics, where the disappearance of one species reverberates through the ecosystem. Number 2. The Dutch Alcon Blue Butterfly This is the fascinating tale of the Dutch Alcon Blue Butterfly, a captivating subspecies of the Alcon Blue Butterfly family. This delicate wonder, known as Fengaris Alcon arenaria, once graced the grasslands of the Netherlands. Despite its allure, little is known about this rarity that dwelled exclusively in Dutch landscapes. The Dutch Alcon Blues tale is one of rarity and loss. Endemic to the Netherlands, it fluttered in only two known locations. Meijendel, nestled in the dunes north of The Hague, and the picturesque Meije, near the Neokoops Plassen. Tragically, this enchanting subspecies vanished from its home as time marched on. In 1975, the Meije population vanished, and by 1979, the Mijindal population followed suit, leaving only a memory. What led to this irreplaceable beauty's demise? A culmination of factors, including encroaching farming and construction, disrupted its habitat. As these changes unfolded, the butterfly lost its primary sustenance, hastening its decline. While related species continue to flutter across parts of Europe and Asia, the Dutch Alcon Blue lives on solely in history, a poignant reminder of the delicate balance between nature's beauty and human progress. Number 1. The Dodo Bird Once upon a time, a bird named the Dodo roamed the land on the enchanting island of Mauritius. Unlike other birds, it couldn't soar through the skies. Sailors from faraway lands arrived, and things took a turn. In just a century, the dodo, with its plump body and curious demeanor, vanished forever. The last dodos bid their farewell in the 1660s, leaving behind scant traces. These remains, known as fossils, held secrets of their existence. But alas, many were lost or ruined due to neglect. Hold tight, for our planet faces a new crisis, the sixth mass extinction. The dodo's tale holds a lesson. Back then, people thought a benevolent creator wouldn't undo their handiwork, so the dodo's slow fade didn't trigger alarm bells. Folks believed hidden flocks still roamed. Alas, they didn't. The precious remains suffered mishandling in those days. Now, let's unmask the culprit behind this tragedy. Sailors are blamed for gobbling up dodos, but evidence points to rats and invasive creatures. These stowaways gobbled up eggs while rivals outcompeted for grub. The dodo's demise reminds us, a delicate thread ties the fate of creatures to our actions. We hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one.